to taste his own blood going down his throat. I want him to feel pain for stepping anywhere near me. I can just picture his eyeballs getting big as I dump him on his head, and he doesn't know where the hell he's at. The MMA fights are compelling, but their intensity reaches its peak. If fighters have a sour history that goes with a lot of trash talk, since Frank Mir defeated Brock Lesnar in his first debut match in UFC, the tension between the two never receded. There was a war of egos where Frank Mir sent harsh words to the point of disrespect. Frank Mir, you're mine! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> It's not the WWE. Mir's remarkable record and first win undoubtedly made him somewhat overconfident. He was mocking Brock Lesnar, and that could go either way. With a lesser fighter, it can shake your confidence. But with a fighter of Brock Lesnar's caliber, it can push you towards your best. Such a brawl could only be settled in a rematch. Brock Lesnar and Frank Mir fights are among MMA's most viewed fights. Let's examine the fight, its history, and how it went. This video is a tribute to the famous brawl between Brock Lesnar and Frank Mir. Both equally great fighters brought their charisma, passion, and strength to the octagon. We will show you the first fight from where it all started. The pre-match tension, trash talk, and the last fight that concluded this brawl like a thriller. Stay tuned as there's lots of drama to unfold. After spending years in WWE, Brock Lesnar was new to the MMA world. Would he prove himself worthy enough for this world? Growing up on a struggling dairy farm, Lesnar faced adversity early on. His transition from professional wrestling to mixed martial arts was met with skepticism. Undoubtedly, he was a supreme athlete with a remarkable record at WWE. But this was the MMA world, and the odds were too many. Frank Mir was an established fighter in the UFC heavyweight division, and with his skills in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, his submission skills with formidable striking abilities. Mir's career highlights include capturing the UFC heavyweight championship twice. He had numerous victories on his record, and what made him fearful was his record for most submissions in UFC heavyweight history. Mir's ability to recover from adversity and continue fighting at a high level is a testament to his determination and talent. The fight with Brock Lesnar was almost a joke for him. He was too proud of his striking abilities, and Brock Lesnar's WWE background was frowned upon. I don't care what people think. I'm coming to this fight to win. That's it. Uh, the first fight between Frank Mir and Brock Lesnar was almost one-sided, but Frank Mir took the victory. Frank wanted to start the first round with a striking game, but Lesnar had Mir on the ground in no time, pounding punches. But referee Mad Zagati stepped in, warning Lesnar for hitting the back of the head and called time. The crowd booed. Mad Zagati took one point. The match continued with both fighters on their feet. Lesnar pounced with hammer fists again and had him on the ground again, but Mir rolled for an arm bar and nearly had it regaining guard. Four minutes. A big pair of right, with right hammer fists, Lesnar landed a big right elbow and defended an arm bar. Mir grabbed a knee bar, 335. Lesnar tapped three or four times. What was shameful was not losing, but losing in the first round in only three minutes. At the point of the foul, Lesnar dominated Mir on the mat with powerful ground and pound shots and was likely close to a technical knockout. Brock Lesnar was furious at the referee for a questionable point deduction for striking Mir in the back of the head. This foul led to the fight being returned to the feet, possibly changing the outcome. Nothing could have been worse than a debut match going this way. Frank Mir not only destroyed him completely, but he was disrespectful. And vengeance was imperative. But will Lesnar be able to avenge that shameful defeat? Only a second match would decide. What do you think about this controversial ending? Do you agree with Brock Lesnar? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. That the controversial referee decision led to a feud and a war of words that lasted over a year until they fought again at UFC 100 on July 11, 2009. Lesnar discredited Mir's jiu-jitsu style while Mir mocked Lesnar's inability to defend it. I've gone through a lot of hardship to get back to where I am now, and uh, I don't know if uh, Brock has gone through such a difficult road to get his title. Lesnar called Mir a glorified karate kid as Mir claimed to enjoy poking at the bear. 
Lesnar couldn't wait to avenge his first and only loss, and Mir wanted to silence any question of whether he could finish Lesnar without help from the official. A rematch was imperative to satisfy both fighters. It was a big chance for Lesnar to get his much-needed revenge. I never heard a warning or, or anything like that. Mazzagotti spent the night at Frank's house the night before, I guess, having supper and uh, sitting in the hot tub together. He's not going to go out there and throw a tip kick in a low roundhouse and jab hook and slip off to the side. He's not going to pass my guard with a butt flop and sit over to the mount and hit a Kimura and switch over to north-south choke. I'll tell you what those are later, Brock, so in case you were confused. <laughs> the trash talk and bitter words created hype around the fight, and the pay-per-view was much higher than in ordinary fights. But did the match live up to its hype? Lesnar had just won the belt against Randy Couture, and Mir had won the interim title against Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Both were booming with confidence. With both fighters in the ring, the tension between them was unmistakable. <laughs> When the referee asked them to touch gloves, Lesnar refused, but came into a fight position. As the first round started, Lesnar immediately goes for a takedown, successfully taking Mir to the ground. While Lesnar exercised caution and refrained from swinging wildly, he dominated the round with ground control and powerful punches. Mir defended well, but Lesnar's pressure and relentless strikes caused visible damage to Mir's face, including a cut on the bridge of his nose and a hematoma. But would Lesnar's ground game strategy go as planned, or can anything happen like in the previous fight? Round one went as Lesnar planned. The ground game was his key to victory, and he was going to utilize the same strategy in round two. Though Mir showcased his resilience in the second round by landing a knee strike. Lesnar wisely decided not to engage in a striking battle with Mir. He quickly got back on top. Mir attempted to lock in submissions, but Lesnar's chest to chest control and powerful punches were brutal. Lesnar's strength and ground control were his strong points that he used to his advantage fully. He delivered devastating punches while maintaining a chest-to-chest -chest position, making Mir's attempts to hide his face futile. Mir was struggling to survive, with his face being used as a punching bag and the weight of Lesnar was almost smothering. Mir's face was covered in blood and bruising. Lesnar's dominance only intensified with each punch. Despite Meyer's efforts to defend, the referee ultimately stopped the fight as he was unable to improve his position. Lesnar emerged victorious, clinching the UFC heavyweight title. The second fight proved to be vengeful for Lesnar. He humbled Mir and secured his position name and reputation in MMA. As the fight between Brock Lesnar and Frank Mir showcased both fighters' intensity, skill, and resilience. Frank is getting beat up here. He's taking some big shots and his face is splattering blood all over his shoulder. Up Frank's, the Frank's in big trouble. That's it. To finish it. That's it. Perkin is there and it is all over. He's out. Brock Lesnar. Lesnar won the battle, humbled Mir, and told the MMA world he was there to rule and should not be taken lightly due to his WWE background. Lesnar's power and control ultimately led to his victory, but Mir's ability to withstand punishment should not be underestimated. Rumors are swirling out as UFC has hinted at a potential third and final matchup between former champions and bitter rivals, Brock Lesnar and Frank Mir. We will keep you updated with the latest from the MMA ring. In the meantime, watch how Brock Lesnar humbled another cocky fighter, Omos the Giant. See you in that video.